Liverpool and Chelsea will square off again in the Carabao Cup final on Sunday, this time at Wembley. The two clubs played in both domestic cup finals two years ago, with the Reds winning on penalties both times, and they will go into this weekend's match as favourites, as they are 22 points ahead of Mauricio Pochettino's side in the Premier League. However, yeah, and Klopp has a lot of selection concerns to think about, because of the number of injuries that have filled his squad in recent weeks. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Diogo Jota, and Curtis Jones have already been ruled out of the Wembley battle, while Alisson is a doubt after missing Saturday's 4-1 victory over Brentford. Dominic Soboslai is also racing against the clock to recover from a hamstring injury, while Darwin Nunes was pulled at halftime over the weekend as a precaution. All six players would have been in contention to start against Chelsea, but they may now all be out, and finding replacements will be difficult. However, when it comes to goalkeeping, Klopp has a simple decision to make. Quivin Keller has been trusted with the gloves in all five of Liverpool's matches leading up to the final, and he is almost expected to replace Alisson once more. The German coach also has first-choice centre-backs, Virgil van Dijk and Ibrahim Akonate available, and Andy Robertson has recovered from shoulder surgery, so all three are expected to start. However, it is less clear who will fill Alexander-Arnold's absence. Connor Bradley has been outstanding since breaking into the first squad, and he shone against Chelsea last month, scoring a goal and providing two assists in a 4-1 victory. Bradley appears to be the favourite, but Joe Gomez should not be overlooked. This season, the versatile defender has played throughout the back four and is one of Liverpool's strongest performances. If Klopp wants to concentrate more on defensive cover on the right, allowing Robertson to move forward on the opposite flank, he could choose Gomez over Bradley. Meanwhile, Klopp may be having the most trouble with his midfield. If everyone was fit, the 56-year-old would most likely line up Soboslai and Jones alongside Alexis McAllister. However, he does not have that luxury and will have to adapt. Wataru Endo, the dependable holding midfielder, will most likely fill the role, with Mac Allister shifting slightly forward, and Ryan Gravenbuch and Harvey Elliott might face off in a shootout. Gravenbuch impressed against Brentford, having one of his best games since arriving at Anfield last summer, while Elliott has thrived off the bench this season, which might see the Dutchman secure the final midfield position. Mohamed Salah will play on the right wing, and he showed no signs of rustiness after a month, off when he came off the bench to score, and assist at the GTEC Community Stadium last Saturday. Luis Diaz has started Liverpool's previous six league games, and should start on the left, but choosing between Nunes and Cody Gakpo could be tricky for Klopp. Nunes had a knock at Brentford, and it may be risky to rush him back, while Gakpo came off the bench to replace him and looked sharp from the start. It would be difficult to leave out a completely fit Nunes, as his ability to generate opportunities is crucial even if he struggles to convert them. When Liverpool met Chelsea in January, the Uruguayan striker hit the woodwork four times, setting a Premier League record. However, Nunes appears to be in less than top shape, and Klopp may choose for Gakpo and then use Nunes off the bench if he is well enough to make the matchday squad. Thank you for watching.